Um, it looks like I'm gonna be here a while. Well, I was gonna partake in some Festival of the Lion King festivities, but um, I looked at my uh, my Disney Experience app and I completely forgot that I had a Fast Pass for Dinosaur that starts right now. The only sad part is it's on the other side of the park. So, looks like I got a bit of walking to do. Eh, no big deal. We're here for the day. We're gonna take our time, have some fun, and take in some pretty sights, look at some uh, interesting guests because it's always fun to people watch when you come to Disney. But, um, but yeah, uh, it looks like we gotta fight all this traffic of people trying to come in for the show. To this day, one of the most annoying things in any Disney park, never give guests an object and tell them to smack it. Never give them anything to hit because you're gonna end up with that. Ugh. God, I hate walking through that area. One thing that always makes me happy when I'm walking around a Disney park is when you walk around, you get a smell of the pecans, 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 however you want to call them. Uh, when you get a smell of the roasted pecans, ooh, it's the greatest smell ever. Always puts a smile on my face, always brings me back to my childhood. When I was a child, every time I came to Disney, I had to get some pecans. Roasted pecans, so delicious. And they've gotten rid of a lot of the locations. So every time I smell it, it's like a rare thing. I have to find it. But not today. Well, maybe today. Um, it all depends <laughs> on a lot of things. Because they're not the healthiest thing for you. Huh, I'm actually surprised. Flame Tree Barbecue doesn't have a long line. The past few times I've been here, there's been a pretty lengthy line for that place. It's one of the most popular places to eat here other than Pizza Fari. Uh, and not a long line. Interesting. All right, now that we have entered Dino Land USA, uh, let's go ahead and talk about some rumors that we have. Oh, I love talking about rumors. And I'm especially excited about this one as well. So, the rumors are saying that this entire land, all of Dino Land USA, is going to get removed and we are going to get an Indiana Jones themed land. This would actually be super exciting for me. All of this, gone. Chester and Hester's Dinorama, gone. All of it. Uh, the Triceratops, gone. Uh, Primary World, gone. Uh, unfortunately, uh, rumors are pointing that the um, archaeological daycare center is going to be staying and just rethemed for Indiana Jones to, since he's an archaeologist or whatever you like to call him. But something that is interesting is what's going on with Dinosaur. Personally, I wouldn't want anything to happen. On, well, let me not say that. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to Dinosaur. Like, I wouldn't want them to get rid of it completely. I like the dinosaur theming, but what's really interesting is that the dinosaur right here is the exact same track layout as the Indiana Jones ride over in California. And if they can successfully retheme Dinosaur to Indiana Jones to be exactly what they had over in California, that would be the greatest thing ever because that ride is absolutely fantastic. And there's a reason why Dinosaur is one of my all-time favorite attractions in Walt Disney World in general, behind Tower of Terror. Because Indiana Jones in California is a top-notch attraction, my favorite attraction in all of California. So. If they can do that over here, that would be absolutely fantastic. So as far as Indiana Jones land is concerned, I'm all for it. Just get, get rid of all of this. Because, like, honestly, um, it's basically just a midway area. And I feel like this area is like not very taken care of at all. Hello! <laughs> I feel like this area is not very well taken care of at all. And it's just, yeah for me. I, I, I don't like it, so get rid of it and bring it on, bring on Indiana Jones. You'll make me one of the happiest guys in the world. This is definitely one of the lesser known Disney movies. Um, this attraction used to be called Countdown to Extinction and it was the same basic ride that it is today, except that after the movie Dinosaur came out, with uh, the main character being Aladar, um, they just re-themed the attraction based around that. I think there was still a Carnotaurus on this attraction, if I remember correctly, but, um, but yeah. Not a lot of people know that this was an actual Disney movie called Dinosaur. To my knowledge, this is one of the very last attractions at Disney where you can hear Bill Nye the Science Guy. Since they did away with Universe of Energy, you can't find him at Epcot. But you can still find him over here. Not in person, but you can hear his voice. Every once in a while the lights will dim in here and you'll hear him talking about some of the different pictures that are located on the walls. 
and explaining them and giving a little bit of history about dinosaurs and, and such. I love this ride so much. I just love it. Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! Go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Styracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. Hydrosaur. Raptor. Time to get serious. Walking autopilot on moving signal now. Keep going, keep going! Computer, now what? Carnotaurus. That's it! Abort mission! Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. I knew you would, and guess who made it back with you? I better find it before security does. Thanks for everything! Ah, dinosaur. Fantastic ride as always. I love riding it with kids and first timers because they're either going to be either really, really scared or they're going to be brave and they're going to actually enjoy themselves. Uh, the kids that I was sitting next to, they seemed to enjoy themselves. They were a little scared at first, you can tell they were pretty scared at first, but they got through it and it looks like they had a lot of fun. We're gonna come in through this gift shop here and take a look around and then see what else we can do. So they don't celebrate Halloween over here in the Animal Kingdom, but you can still get your Halloween merchandise here in the gift shops. And Halloween trick-or-treat buckets. I think they're trick-or-treat buckets and I think they light up too. Can they light up? Can I make this thing light up? Yeah, it's got a little bit of a red glow and it changes color. That's interesting. Turn that off. More trick or treat. Candy buckets over here. And your lights that I've shown you in the other vlogs before. I like this. Something to hang on your door or window. All right, so after our quick fitness check on the watch, we have been in the park for about two hours now. I got here at about one and it is going on it's getting close to 3.30, so about two and a half hours. Uh, so far we've walked 6,200 steps, 6,200. Not bad. Uh, my daily goal is always uh, at least 10,000 in, in order to lose weight, a little bit of weight every day. So, not bad. Always, always get to, to almost be there. I'm tired. <laughs> Words are hard today. Um, we're gonna head on over to Expedition Everest. I was gonna make a fast pass for it, but then I remembered that uh, there's a single ride online for it, so if you're coming to the park by yourself, you don't need to waste a fast pass on an attraction that has single riders. So, we're gonna make our way down that way. All right, so the entrance of Expedition Everest is right over here. It's about a 30 minute wait, so not too bad. Uh, the single rider entrance is located over here to the right, uh, just as you exit the gift shop over there. So it doesn't look like it's too long of a wait for a single rider, so I'm going to go ahead and make my way on down that way and avoid that 30 minute wait. Woohoo! Attention Expedition Everest team members. Once on board, secure all gear in the cargo bag in front of you. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs in sight. And please, supervise the children.
no, someone lost their ears. Someone lost their ears over there. Oh, that's so sad. So that was an interesting ride through of Expedition Everest. Uh, we stopped went right before we were supposed to go forward again. We got held up for a little bit right there. And then just before we hit the Yeti, we were, but just before we were supposed to see the Yeti, uh, we stopped again midway through. That doesn't normally happen. So that's interesting. And on top of that, the Yeti wasn't working more than it wasn't already working. <laughs> so eh, interesting ride through of Everest, but it was still good to get some of that nice breeze in your face and cool off. Uh, speaking of breeze, I need to find some place to go and sit down and relax in the AC because it is hot. Uh, my shirt isn't supposed to be this dark of a, of a gray. So we're gonna see if we can find some place to cool off, maybe get a cold drink or something and just relax for a little bit. Recharge and then get back up. With Animal Kingdom being as much of an outdoorsy park as it is, there are very limited uh, areas around the park that are covered indoors and in AC. So uh, on my way to the Festival of the Lion King Theater, I went and stopped and got myself some ice water from a quick service kiosk. Uh, if you, any, any place that serves, um, that serves fountain drinks, you can go and ask for a cup of ice water for free and you don't have to pay for a bottle of water. So that's always a neat little fact for you guys. Uh, a lot of people are always spending so much money on bottles of water, especially for the whole family, when you can get a big cup like this full of ice and water for free. I don't know why people pay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, get ready to clap your paws, stomp your hooves, and ruffle your feathers.
So, Festival of the Lion King, fantastic show as always, never disappoints. Uh, I have great respect for the cast of Festival of the Lion King because they do a show every hour on the hour, starting from starting at 10 o'clock. So they're doing so many shows a day. I mean, I'm sure they switch off, you know, the cast every once in a while just to give them a break in between shows. That way, they're not doing every single hour. But still, fantastic show. Love the cast. Always solid show. One of the top rated shows here on Disney property. So if you're around, I highly recommend you see that show if you don't get a chance. If you only have to see one, I mean, how, how do I word this? If you only have a chance to see one show, do that one. There we go. I got this. <laughs> Words are fun. Personally speaking, I like walking into Pandora via Africa side because it's a bit more of a smoother transition. You're walking across the bridge and then you get over here and you start to see the weird lamp post. You see a whole bunch of trees and then you turn the corner and bam, mountains. If this big tree wasn't there, it would be a bit more of a better reveal from the people that are coming out on this side. But still, either way, a bit more of a smoother transition as to an immediate transition back that way over by Pizza Fari. All right, I do have the munchies. It is about dinner time. Let's go ahead and try Satuli Canteen. This is gonna be my first time actually eating here, like ordering something and eating here. I've been in here before, gotten some drinks, but I've never actually sat inside here and ate before. So this is going to be an experience for the both of us. Both of us being me and, you know, you guys. I like the lever that they have for one of their drinks, the, the country ale. It's the mountains, floating mountains, I like that. And then the Hawks Grog Ale, that one right there. It's a special lever as well. It's really cool. One thing that I love about Satilli Canteen is the self-service soda machines. And they got the good ice too. Look at that. 
I don't drink soda, so if they have blue Powerade, it's the, always the greatest thing ever. So I got the cheeseburger pods. It comes with two pods, coleslaw, and uh, multiple chips. So I'm very interested to try the chips. But I'll be sure to give you guys a review of the pods. They're very, they're very squishy. I don't know. It'll be interesting. All right, I'm gonna try the pod first. Very interested. It's got a little bit of the coleslaw on it. The reviews that I've seen on it so far say that it tastes like a McDonald's cheeseburger. So we'll see. They weren't lying. <laughs> it tastes exactly like a McDonald's cheeseburger. That is so weird. The bun itself is really good. I, was, I, I don't know what kind of flavor I was expecting out of the, the bread part, but on the inside, it's really good. Little, little hints of pickle in there. I don't quite like that. I hate pickles, but it's not bad. I'm gonna try one of these chips. Sweet potato chip, not bad. Really good, I'll get to the full spot of that. To this day, this little guy freaks me out. Look at that, that is a creepy looking alien monster thing. And it looks exactly like this plant that's right over here. I'm trying to find the camera, it looks exactly like that plant over there. But it's camouflaged itself. How creepy is that? Like, that is a very scary and freaky detail to leave in there. That thing will eat my giblets in a heartbeat. <laughs> but anyways, look how nice the mountains are. I'm extremely zoomed in. I'm terribly sorry about that. But look at how nice the mountains are now that the sun's starting to go down a little bit. Oh, the mountains are so beautiful. I love this land. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite land in all of Disney. Heading on out of Animal Kingdom now. You can either go left or right. But I decided to go down the middle. Take the road less traveled. Through the Cave of Wonders. The only downside to this is that you gotta go across the rickety ass bridge again. And I am not a fan. I'm bouncing. I'm just gonna pause for a moment here on this Rickety Bridge. Look at these pretty ducks. I think they're ducks. Uh, that one over there could be a swan of some kind. I don't know. I'm terrible with animals. I just think they're cute. Just gonna keep, yeah, keep, keep, keep walking calmly across that bridge and never see it again. Oof. So, back in the car after a very long, very fun day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Uh, I am a hot, sweaty mess. My hair is, my hair is crazy. It's it's just hot. And then of course, getting into the car, I had to, I had to defrost or not defrost. What the hell am I talking? About? I'm tired. <laughs> I had to, I had to cool my car off because it was a hot mess in here. Temperature-wise, it was just bad. Um, what was my final count? Step count for today. Logging in on my watch. Um, 11,304 steps, so not bad. I hit my step goal for today. I'm sure if I was here for longer, I'd go much, much, much further. Um, I rolled my ankle at the gym yesterday, so I wasn't in the best mood to be walking around all day today. And by the time I got back into the car, my foot was killing me. So, anyways, um, we're going to be back at Disney on Sunday for Epcot's 35th anniversary. So, be sure to keep an eye out for that video. Um, in the meantime, tomorrow, I am going to be headed off to Busch Gardens for another night of Hollow Scream. Working at Hollow Scream. So, uh, with that, I am off. And I will see you guys in the next video.